This video is brought to you by my good friends over at Squarespace. If you're in need of creating your own website, blog, if you need a domain, or if you're ready to set up an online shop, make sure you do it with Squarespace and get 10% off of your purchase at squarespace.com slash shellbizzle. Hey guys, it's Shelby. I stopped saying that otherwise known as shellbizzle on YouTube part, actually. Did I tell you Why? that? Why? Yeah, yeah, because, well, because I asked, I've been considering it, and I asked them, and a lot of people said, like, just Shelby is better. Bruh. It's true. Bruh. Today, we are trying to grocery shop zero waste at Fred Meyer, which you might be wondering, Shelby, you live in Austin, well, slash Texas, and there's no Fred Meyer there, but we're not in Texas anymore, guys. Hi, Fred. We're in Seattle. <laughs> so if you guys know Sedona Christina, if you don't know her, her channel will be linked below. But you said your regular grocery shopping spot is Fred Meyer, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Every so. Week? Every week? Well, whenever I do groceries, because I'm lazy. <laughs> <laughs> and she said Fred Meyer is like a Walmart. It's huge. I was perplexed the first wow. time I went in. It's huge. Okay, I had no idea. I literally thought Fred Meyer was like an HEB. Well, you're not from Texas, but like an HEB is like just a grocery store, but she says they have other things too. But they have a bulk section, mm -hmm. which is also dope. So I, the whole point of me doing these videos, the I tried zero waste grocery shopping videos, is to show that you can go nearly anywhere, wherever you live, whoever you are, and try to reduce your waste. So we're gonna head to Fred Meyer right now. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Chrissy is our guide. Am she, I? Yeah, okay. she's gonna tell us a little bit about what we can find package free. Am I the tour guide? I'm yeah. Fine <laughs> Let's see what we can find. So it looks like produce is not too hard to do package free here. No, I, I think it's great here. There isn't really anything that I would need other than berries and grapes. If I were to ever need those, I'd have to go somewhere else. Okay. Let's explore. One of the things though, we've got these, but then the, the organic bananas have, you know, banner things. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see where they actually even come from. Guatemala. So, that, I mean, from to Texas, that never seems like too far, but to Washington, that's pretty far. Yeah. Maybe we need a baby pineapple? <laughs> Kiwis without plastic. <laughs> yeah, like why is the thing? But also the other part of that is these are generally cheaper, yeah. Because it's portion controlled. Yeah. I also want to do a video one day where I literally go to the grocery store and just go through and compare like package things to unpackaged things. Like prices. Their prices. Yeah. Let's compare the prices between these guys and these guys. That's 79 cents. And this is a five pound bag for $2. So that's what? Where's my calculator? $1.99 divided by five pounds. $39. Wow. $79. That's a bummer. 40 cents versus 79 so with the idea of budget and pricing in mind, I thought that would be a really interesting website to create just to focus on budget things for zero waste and only talk about how to live on like very low income but still live sustainably because I did mention that I would like to make a video comparing prices but that could be an entire website like comparing prices or even just a blog post and I might do that in the future but I wanted to say a huge thank you to my sponsor today which is Squarespace because if you want to create a website about sustainable living, you can do so 
with Squarespace. They have amazing templates which will help you get your website up and running very quickly. It can seem like a really daunting task to get yourself a website up and running, but with Squarespace, it's super simple. They have 24 hour customer service, so you'll never be on your own trying to create your website. If you wanna get 10% off of your website right now, you can go to squarespace.com slash showbizzle for 10% off of your purchase of a website or even a domain. If you already have a domain somewhere else, you can transfer it to Squarespace really easily. So make sure you check them out. All right, let's see what other package-free sustainable goodies we found at Fred Meyer. So apparently you can get things that are slightly blemish, undersized, or misshapen, like an imperfect produce situation, but at your grocery store. Of course it comes in this. So that's a little unfortunate. But that's pretty cool that they do that anyway, and then it's cheaper, I suppose. Very cool. Look. Oh, that's a steal. Oh, how exciting. I really want black. I've never no? Seen I've never seen them, but I've also kind of never looked because I just assume. <laughs> Do you have to buy the whole box? I think you have to buy the whole box. Yeah, I would think okay. so. Okay. Yeah. Super cool. Well, if you live in an area where Fred Myers are, I think a lot of the time they are in like Washington State. Blackberries are an invasive species here, so you can go out and pick them in the freezer in the summer. We should try that. That sounds like fun. Yeah. I definitely do that behind my parents' house. They have like a wetlands forest area where nothing's about to be like not able to build anything. And we go back there and like pick blackberries. How neat! Life hack. Life hack. And it's free and it's foraged. Sustainable as it gets. Yeah. Like literally as sustainable as it gets. You don't need the resources to grow up. If nature just does its thing, because nature is wonderful. <laughs> I never find those back home. That's like my favorite thing. Yeah, without plastic, it doesn't oh, exist. Yeah, 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 yeah. To make the surprise face. Look at the package free Brussels sprouts. That's so exciting to me. I never find Brussels them without sprouts packaging. Are Brussels sprouts are great. They have like everything, you guys. This is very impressive. But I will say, like, I always assume that doing like low waste living is easy because to me, this is my regular grocery store, you know? Yeah. It's nothing special. It's like a Walmart to me. Like, so, perspective. Right. Tell you, this place is much better than a Walmart back home because we do not have plastic free tomatoes. Absolutely not. This is so exciting to me. When I was mostly raw vegan for a while, I used to call cherry, are they cherry tomatoes? Uh, these grape might be tomatoes. great, but. I used to call grape tomatoes Skittles because they come in different colors. Wow. And this is the bread that I usually get. I actually think it's a Seattle company too. So oh. it's baked locally. Um, with love. Yeah, with love. <laughs> I've never tried to do to bring my own container because in Washington it's technically illegal. But they do have peanut thingies if you want to make peanut butter or almond butter. Peanut thingies? <laughs> you know, like the grinders, but yeah, I mean you're supposed to put them in. <laughs> I wonder if you put your peanut butter in that plastic container and you cleaned it out and brought it back and like no one knew. Would yeah, that you be could okay? probably reuse the same one. Nobody would know. Okay. I will say, okay, so in Washington State, it's technically illegal to bring your own container, even bulk bags. I usually do self checkout and nobody says anything. So. We're not endorsing breaking the law. No. Or are we? Uh, Maybe. Is that irresponsible for the environment? Yes. But. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I it's so yet. yeah. It's so weird that like some it's places it's not a big thing. deal, right? Like yeah. some places they think it's healthy, it's fine, and then other places they're like you're gonna die. Oh, but then they have these here, so they just want you to like. They just want you to bring it home and refill it. So, oh. Yeah. That, from my knowledge, they can't take things. So I have hot spices here, but I've just reused the bag. Yeah. Times whenever I come back, because sometimes I don't have time to run like all the way to my spice shop. Yeah. For the market. This is a nice selection of them. Yeah. Yeah. Tea. More tea? Do they have any? There's like whole cinnamon sticks. Yeah. 
Ooh. Yeah, we have some of this back home at a, a place called Central Market, but it's only in your major cities. Yeah. Whereas I feel like Fred Meyer is available to like a lot of not big yeah. cities. Uh, it's all over at least this state. And they don't have gelatin in them? Nope. Wow. I mean, corn sugar, or corn, <laughs> whatever it's just a little bit just a little bit I'm actually back home in Texas now and the reason that video ended quite abruptly is because we got kicked out of Fred Meyer for filming okay actually we didn't get kicked out we stayed in there for a little bit after that we did make purchases at Fred Meyer which you know we were not there to like bash the store and they told us we weren't allowed to film and I think their concern is probably people who are bashing the stores but I'm actually really impressed with their selection of like plastic free stuff I think they're a great resource if you want to shop more sustainably and you have one near you I would love to hear in the comments if you have a Fred Meyer by you if you've been there and if it's not as good as the one we went to because I can imagine that being a situation where you know there are like different Fred Myers with different resources and they're not all as good as the one that we went to but I think this one was great it was super wonderful if you have one near you definitely check it out but I am back home now so I can't be doing any other you know grocery stores that are over there on the west coast we're back in Texas so if you have a request where you'd like to see me try zero waste grocery shopping at next make sure you leave it in the comments below if you haven't already seen all of my episodes in this series there's a bunch of them. You can go check them out. I'll link the playlist right there. And remember, until next time, you cannot do all the good that the world needs, but the world needs all the good that you can do. Bye, guys.